try to go out and meet lots of new people today. Uh, partially to make up for the fact that while I was sick, I haven't met that many people. And partially just because I'm tired of being in the house. You know, when you're forced to be in the house, it's, it's not fun. But when you make the decision to be in the house, it's fine. So, out and about we go. Let's go meet new people. So, we're at the Rook and Pond. Yes, sir. And it's my first time here. What's, what's the deal? Well, first off, welcome to the Rook and Pond. As you can see on that massive shelf behind you, we got about 653 different board games, all free for you to play. The only stipulation is anytime before 3 o'clock, as long as you're ordering lunch with us, then your daily membership fee is going to be waived for the day. You can play as many games you want to until we close that day at midnight. Otherwise, anytime after 3, we do require a small $5 daily membership fee. As well, we also offer a monthly and a yearly membership package if you would be interested. However, since it's your first time, I always suggest just pay the daily membership fee. See if you're going to like us. Come check us out, play a couple of games and whatnot, and see if you actually want to come back multiple times and we certainly hope that you do otherwise we've got our food menu right here for you we do a lot of locally sourced foods all our cheeses are going to be from a place called sweetgrass uh creamery which is right up the road from us all of our breads are baked fresh pretty much every day from luna bakery and we also uh, get some of our preserves from a place called piedmont preserves in town as well we get all of our coffee from jittery joe's roasters about a quarter mile up the street from us Creature Comics as well gives us a lot of our beers. We've got three of them on tap right now, and they're just located right behind us. The brewery is right behind us. Uh, otherwise, we do a lot of locally sourced spirits as well. we got a couple from down in Atlanta, such as Fourth Ward Distilleries, and a couple of other things that we will be getting in periodically from time to time. Otherwise, take a look at our menus, figure out if you want something to drink, something to eat, and let me know. All right. Cool. Perfect. Our first day was June fifteenth of last year, so coming up on a year. Coming up on a year. What are you guys fast. doing for the year? I'm not positive yet. Honestly, we uh, we opened up when we did in order to be open for Athfest, which is a big, basically street festival that happens in Athens every year. It's awesome. It's super fun, and there's always a really big concert that goes out right outside, uh, right outside of our parking lot. They got a big street show that happens right over there. So that was our ma our main goal when we opened initially, and I'm sure we're gonna have a huge party when June 15th rolls around again, just to correlate with Athfest. We'll probably move out to the parking lot and have uh, some tents set up, have some beer going out in the parking lot, like. Just like we did last year, but just a bigger one because it's going to be an anniversary for us. So, yeah. Yep. That's pretty much it. Cool, man. Yeah. Give me one second. My cook's yelling at me. What you need, Brad? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> worst. <laughs> we, we'll make sure that's not on there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no, please put that on there. They need to know. Let's do a thumbs up real quick. 